Madam Speaker, on the matter of expulsion, we are now going down a third attempt for a privilege resolution to expel me from the House of Representatives this week. Uh, just introduced one earlier th today and just earlier this evening, we had a second. Here's the case in point. In history, five members of Congress have been expelled. All five had suffered convictions in a court. All five had due process. This expulsion vote simply undermines and underscores the precedent that we've had in this chamber. It starts and puts us in a new direction, a dangerous one that sets a very dangerous precedent for the future. Are we to now assume that one is no longer innocent until proven guilty, and they are in fact guilty until proven innocent? Or are we now to simply assume that because somebody doesn't like you, they get to throw you out of your job? Or better more, does the Constitution bear no consequence? Where a duly elected member of the House of Representatives is elected by the general public, but then a couple of politicians decide that they don't like that person. These are all matters and questions that can be brought up. But I'll leave it at this. The process in which the Ethics Committee engaged was incomplete, irresponsible, and littered with hyperbole, and littered with biased opinions. The chairman of the committee himself admitted that it wasn't the, it wasn't the full extensive process, and therefore he couldn't recommend from the committee a punishment or action. Therefore, cheapening the process of the Ethics Committee, cheapening the process that this, that this country has expected from this, from this chamber. Look, it is not a right to be a member of Congress. The media will always remind me of that every time I talk to them. But it is a privilege, a privilege that you work hard for and you get elected to Congress as a privilege to represent those who have chosen you. Madam Speaker, I think we can all agree that due process matters and that we should all be very concerned about the way that we are conducting this process. I ask that all my colleagues in the House consider and understand what this means for the future and to set the record straight and put this in the record, I will not be resigning. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. Does the gentleman have a motion? Madam Speaker, I move, that the, I move that the House do now adjourn. The question is on the motion to adjourn. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The ayes have it. The motion is adopted. Accordingly, the House stands adjourned until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning for our debate. Okay, so the House stands adjourned. What you just watched in real time was uh, Representative George Santos uh, speaking on the House floor amid expulsion efforts. Uh, and we are going to turn to our live image of the U.S. Capitol at this time. Just uh, pretty much uh, the thesis of what Santos had to say there. He, he first went over the history of expulsions that have happened in the Congress. He says that five members have been expelled in history, but he said that all went through due process. And if he were to be expelled, it would just undermine the president that they've had in the chamber. Fox is told that House Republican leadership has not yet made a decision about how to handle efforts to expel Santos this week, according to Fox's Chad Pergram. We do have this tweet uh, standing by as well, Reese Gorman uh, saying, Santos says he knows the expulsion resolution is going to pass. Quote, it's a circus. It's going to pass. Gorman also saying the House will have until Thursday to vote on a Santos expulsion. We also heard from Santos uh, the way he wrapped up his remarks there was by saying that he would not resign. So uh, Gorman there saying the House will have until Thursday to vote on Santos expulsion. We will be following the story for the next 48 hours as any more updates come into our newsroom. Uh, again, uh, for now, Santos saying he will not resign, uh, making some points uh, about uh, only five members in history being expelled, all of them through due process. Uh, his main point being that if he were to be expelled this time, that would undermine 
uh, the precedent that they've had in that chamber. So uh, 